There are a few types of market failures. Again, let's bring in Disneyland. Now, let's say there's a Mickey Mouse who drives a super huge Hummer. Do you know what a Hummer is? It's one of those huge cars that quite a number of people who don't really care about polluting the environment like to drive. So while Mickey Mouse drives a huge Hummer, he pays for the cost of the car. But at the same time, he pollutes the environment by driving the car. He's also the reason for the associated cost of a polluted environment. For example, the health diseases that he caused to people he drives past, the warming climate, and the lost island of Tuvalu. These things are all not accounted for. This is because the costs are accrued to someone else other than Mickey Mouse, while Mickey Mouse enjoys the benefits of driving a car. We call these externalities, and it is a form of market failure. Now, let's say a lot of people drive in Disneyland. The law legislates that they all wear seatbelts. Will everyone wear seatbelts? Well, not everyone does that because it is uncomfortable. But it is good for you if you wear seatbelts, and the government thinks so too. So the government of Disneyland accounts for that of, uh, lack of knowledge and passes a law saying that everyone should wear seatbelts in Disneyland. This is a merit good, and we have demerit goods as well, and together they form the second form of market failure. Now, imagine that Disneyland has a neighbor called Marvel Town. The superheroes of Marvel Town, like X-Men, always want to invade Disneyland. Hence, Disneyland invade, uh, invests in national defense. However, no individual will pay for defense. Why? For example, uh, take for example Mickey Mouse. Why would he pay for defense if he as an individual did not pay and can still enjoy the benefits of national defense? If Mickey Mouse did not pay, the rest of Disneyland pays, Mickey Mouse will still enjoy national defense since he is within the boundaries of Disneyland. However, if everyone thinks like that, then no one will pay for, Disney, uh, for national defense and there will be no Disney army and X-Men will wipe up Disneyland. So the provision of goods like national defense is the third form of market failure, public goods. Now, let's say in Disneyland there's a mega corporation called Mini Fashion Company. That company is the only one in the fashion industry in Disneyland. So instead of having a lot of small shops, it has only one large monopoly. In that case, as we have learned earlier, this is not allocatively efficient. We will see the day weight loss in a monopoly diagram. Similarly, the company has no incentive to be productively efficient since it can already earn huge amounts of profits. Hence, market power is another form of market failure. Now, in the original Disneyland, we also assume that everyone knows where everything is. They have all perfect information. But without perfect information, Mickey Mouse will not always know how much to consume and what are the various prices in the market. There will then be friction in the market and this causes the last form of market failure, imperfect information. We will visit each of them in detail in the subsequent lessons.